Is that recording? <laughs> Crazy thing, so. Okay. <laughs> I'm in the <laughs> Yeah, that was my response too. Clap for the camera real quick. Okay. Clap. That'll do. Cool. Okay, so. Are you recording? Yeah. Introduce yourself. Hi, I'm Gavin. You've done FTC already? Yeah, I've done FTC for two years. I started the team at my high school, so. Yeah. Okay, so my name is Ashana Mukherjee. I am part of the software team on Yellow Jacket's first robotics team. Okay, I'm Stephanie. I'm in mechanical team. Uh, I haven't done robotics before, and I'm interested in like learning how to build the robot. Uh, hello, my name is Joseph, and I've been with FTC, my FTC community team, for the past two years, I think. Um, I'm John. We are on the same FTC community team, so I've been with them for two years. I'm on the electrical team for FRC, and I like wires. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we hated each other from the beginning. Yeah. Hi, my name is Armand. I'm on the coding team. I have no experience in robotics, and I'm very excited for the season. I'm Kaya Zim, and I am part of the programming team. I've done First Tech Challenge for three years. What are you excited for this season? Going to Victoria. I'm excited to see the competition. Uh, right now, I'm excited to just really go out of Alberta right now. That's real. Aren't you in Alberta? <laughs> yes, go out of it. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> I'm also excited to see, because this is my first time really working with a huge robot. Um, Vex, usually you have small robots and drones are obviously pretty small, so this is like a one like huge robot. Really stoked to get to like work on really big robots that move really fast and have crazy mechanical like linkages and all that fun stuff and swerve. I'm really stoked to work on swerve. Uh, I'm excited to learn how to program with like swerve drive and motors uh, and CAN bus. Uh, but like, how are you feeling? You got any expectations, uh, predictions, that kind of thing? Uh, I think there'll be lots of like troubleshooting because we're like a rookie team. We haven't done things before. Um, probably lots of code errors. For it to blow up, yeah, that's pretty much my entire expectation. Or crash. Is it going to be your fault or ours? Uh, probably. Um, it's definitely business's fault. Okay, so it'll like, it, the robot won't be moving and then suddenly it'll go really fast and then it just explodes. Gavin's going to blow up the entire robot because he did CAD incorrectly and the drivetrain is literally just going to fall off. I'm like expecting some issues when it comes to like Electrical and mechanical. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be mounted yeah, kind of completely incorrectly. Like it is, is it's gonna be driving and the tires are gonna keep rolling and the drive everything else is just gonna be on the floor. <laughs> How'd that be my fault? Just wrong. Just I just said you could have 3D printed incorrectly. No, it's business's fault. I'm on both mechanical and business. So exactly! So it's <laughs> it's your fault twice. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. But I will be willing to jump in and help because we're all one team and we need to help each other, so... Wow. I feel like the only expectations that I have with this group is like mainly just food, <laughs> so... Um... Yeah, I think we're gonna do good. I don't think we're gonna fail. <laughs> Hopefully. Cool. Um, so how are you feeling? You got like any expectations? Water game. Okay. Anything else? No. Okay. okay. No, 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 no. Like, like, what about water? Like, so the robot having to swim? Okay. Yeah. No, I'm not kidding. Okay. What if the robot is a like, swimming pool? Yeah, no, yeah. but that's not. That, that won't work. Um, something, un something to do with the water. That that'd be fun. Either having, do you know, for FTC the drones, something to do with that, but for water, like pushing a boat across something or trying to move your robot across a water thing without frying. What are you guys thoughts on, on water? water <laughs> mm. I saw you guys talking about that. That's I feel bad for you now. Is that, is that water in your mouth there? No, it's the tea. What do you think the game is gonna be? Yeah. Mm, I feel like there's just gonna be like a climbing aspect involved. If it's anything like center stage, it's gonna be a pretty crazy game this year. Yeah, there's probably gonna be some crazy end game stuff. So, getting ready for wild mechanisms that are probably way too complicated. Might be basketball again. That'd be fun. That'd be cool. I want to make more drones, like the smaller little guys. Mm -hmm. Just attach it with a little bit of the line. 
Um, we could also see like, maybe we have to jump again, or maybe an obstacle that could resolve in jumping. Is it actually water games? No. Oh, it's not. <laughs> Here? Yes. From start, to be from start to end, what do you think is gonna happen? This is gonna be amazing. Okay, so first we're all gonna fly out there, except someone's gonna pop all the tires driving out the robot, so it's not gonna show up two days. It's gonna appear late. We're all gonna get there. Someone's most definitely gonna lose their luggage. Not pointing fingers, Gavin. We're gonna get to the hotel. Someone's gonna lose their key card. We're all gonna get a very horrible night's sleep. Get to the competition, robot's not gonna turn on. I'm gonna purposely uh, mess up the wiring on purpose. Leave a couple exposed wires. Just add some, just pour some lighter fluid on it. So John is gonna accidentally burn down the battery. It's not gonna drive. We're gonna spend the next two days fixing it, get to qualifiers, we're gonna win, and then Gavin's gonna get lost. In the airport, he's gonna miss the flight, we're all gonna fly back, he's gonna have to drive back in the car. Um, are you doing R3D? Yeah. Okay, anything you're excited for that? Like, things wanna try I'm just out? trying to see what kind of crazy ideas Samson does. I think Samson will forget to bring, like, a very important cable. He's gonna make us duct tape at least two or three things. At least. At least. I, I, I say like, two or three important pieces are going to be duct taped. What, what about Samson? Like, what about his vibe? Makes you think he's going to do that? Up, yeah, up, yeah. Do I can so easily? Chris knows me. Oh, okay. Uh, I'm Samson, uh, one of the lead mentors for 9449 Yellow Jackets. Um, I bought this shirt off the Boston Dynamics website. Um, unfortunately, I don't know if they hire Canadians, but um, I bought their shirt anyways because it's a really nice shirt. I really like the shirt, so <laughs> I'm a big fan. So, uh, oh, and, and fun fact, my Discord username, I got Boston Dynamics as my, uh, when they were doing the weird Discord name thingy, so. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's on my other account. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, uh, I was on 4733 again. No one really knows the Western Canadian teams that much, but uh, um, we were so happy to be the third alliance pick for uh, the first alliance, so we got to go to Worlds, and I think that was super life-changing, so um, I'd love to see our kids be able to one day have that chance to go to Worlds, because it, it really changes you. It's like, you see all this passion for engineering, uh, for robotics, and um, it's just so cool to see it. So, um, you know, my, my wish for this, my wish for the team is that they will be able to go to Worlds one year. Anything you want to try out for R3? Uh, no. Okay. It's my first time doing this. I just want to experience how it's like. Cool. Are you guys doing R3D? I am. Are you gonna get anything you're like looking forward to for that? Like anything you want to try out? I'm gonna sleep here. Yeah, that's real. I'm gonna, gonna hide right up there, right, 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 right on that scaffolding. I'm gonna just get a sleeping bag, sit there. I'm gonna get in the canoe. Like, oh, I'm that's gonna... smart. Yeah. I didn't think about that at all. Anything else you're expecting for R3D? I don't even know what that, that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's Robot in 3 Check your Discord. Oh. I'm kind of nervous, especially because Robot in 3 Days seems hectic, but also just the build season itself does seem hectic. But I'm also very excited because this is a really cool learning experience. If the challenge doesn't require some like over-engineered structure, like a double cascade lift or whatever, then like I'm totally fine to just uh, uh, just drive practice everything through and, and whatnot. So yeah, yeah. Just having a nuts drive team and then just like driving and swerving around. Like, I don't, yeah, I think it'll be on a tank drive platform, obviously. Um, but yeah. Yeah. Oh, battery exhausted. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh. Um, Sony, please send us a new camera. Chris needs a new camera. He's gonna be driving back on four donuts that he borrowed from other cars and had to sell our robot parts for. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, I've had enough of this. Okay, I've had enough. Good Thank you. Good night. You asked me for this. <laughs> no, that was good. That was good. That was good. How do you lose tires? Anyway. Okay.